Joshua 22, 12. When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned by beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, Jesus said, as for, those, for these things that you see, the days will come when no one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down. They asked him, teacher, when will, when will this be and what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And Jesus said, beware that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name and say, I am the one. And the time is near. Do not go after them. The gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you for this opportunity that you have given us to come as your people to proclaim and to live out the meaning of your grace. Lord, I pray that you bless us this morning and we ask that you speak to all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, I'm standing here, I cannot do no other. Uh, as we reflect in regard to a scenario of our living these days, there will be an opportunity for us to really to reflect about our positions before God, as people of God, and things that we are about as we proclaim the goodness of the grace of God, and to live out the meaning of the grace of God in our world today. As we engage ourselves in reading today's gospel reading, uh, this particular gospel lesson is not exactly of the feel-good type of message or lesson in the New Testament. And Jesus stands in the front of the temple and tells us that not one stone will be left upon another. Everything will be thrown down. The temple was a, a, a special place where the people of God, or the people of Israel gathered to celebrate the presence of, the, the, of, of God. It was a beautiful place where indeed uh, people who were went to see this, this particular structure will say, it is beautiful. It is indeed a place of celebrating the beauty of God, or the presence of God. As we face our own dynamics of life, and we try to change the, our positions, our needs, sometimes it's easy to believe who we are when everything is going well. It is easy, it's very easy for us to believe that God loves you when the things of your life are in place. It is easy to have the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding when everything is peaceful and calm and everyone is getting alone with each other. It is easy to pray when your body is healthy and your mind is clear. It is easy to say, I am a Christian, when you are in a Christian community and those praying there will be saying the same thing. It is easy to take a stand of a moral issue of the day when to do so poses no real risk to your job or to your friendship. It is easy to believe when things are going well. 
One of the disciples said to him or to Jesus, Look, teacher, what beautiful stone and gift dedicated to God. That particular expression in the eyes of Jesus was the wrong thing to say. Because really the, the, the dynamics or the beauty of the, the outside of the temple was given by Herod. All the decoration was given by him. The man who really was so vicious that he killed his own children. Dynamics of the beauty of the temple and did the rottenness of the person who gave this gift that adorned the temple. So Jesus very well knew those, pre, those dynamics that were taking place in the eyes of those who were admiring this temple. That's why he's thinking or looking to give us a, a different message. But that was wrong in the way. Now in our own life, when things are not going well, what happens to your belief that God loves you and cares for you when things go wrong and not just one thing, but one thing after another? What happens to the peace of God when my home, my work, my country, my place, or is in tension. What happens when there is not enough money to pay the bill? What happens to you praying when, when you are sick or you are just facing a certain illness that you don't know what to do or the doctors are telling you something different or you are feeling much different? What happens to your faith when things are not going well? Jesus also said to the disciples, as for, the, for these things that you see, the days will come when no one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down. I believe that the call to discipleship remains the same after some 2,000 years. To follow Jesus is to trust uh, to God and all circumstances that are testing our lives, our faith, and our hope. So we keep on going with faith in whom we have come to believe. We will keep witnessing to the marvelous things that the Lord has done and will continue to do. We are also invited by Jesus to see to take a look what and whom he wants us to see. What things will we see in a church, in our world? What are you seeing? What's taking place in our own lives that we, we are completely at odds? Like, I never thought that this would take place. What are you seeing in a, in, a, in, a, in a society? Somebody, I was having a conversation the other day in regard to what took place last Tuesday in this country. And this person told me, it's, a, it's, it's different, uh, uh, and it was an African-American friend of mine. He said, you know, we are living in this country that is very raw and confused. We are divided. We are pulling and we are pulling that my own now own me. We are split right in the middle. What are we seeing? Jesus invited the disciples to see, to take a close look of where indeed, what is, is he seeing? What is, is he bringing to the people? What is indeed the dynamics of his looking out to the world? As disciples of Jesus Christ, God needs our eyes to see what he's seeing 
in prayer. God needs us to, to, the, to be the eyes of the gospel uh, as a part of the dynamics of who we are. Called to be the vision and lead of the perspective of the activity of God in the world when the things are, are around us are somehow lost. We are, we are called to bring the good news to those who are lost. We are to bring, uh, uh, bring the good news to those who are separated from each other. We are, we are the call to call to be the body of Christ in the activity that others will come to know Christ. What God is seeing is what matters. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of a good news. The Christ overcome the devil. Christ has forgiven of our sin. Christ is with you to the end, is a promise. Christ is working all things for good and lives of those who love him. Christ is you, and Christ will be the voice of your love and the community where we live. In the name of Jesus.